In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello there everyone, it is day 25. Bright and early, I haven't quite woken up yet, I'm not gonna lie. But, I was eager to crack on anyway, so here we are. We're gonna dive in. Today, there has been a development on the account. I am pleased to announce that Scurry's back. Let's go, we've got Scurry back, y'all. I did it before the session. Uh, now this 35k, unfortunately, is not mine. Uh, I got it back by selling some uh, trailblazer ornament kits so i don't want to keep the leftover money that came from those i've still got two there so if i ever need another reclaim or something i can always sell them but all right on with the day let's uh realign ourselves with what the fuck we were planning to do okay enjoy whoever picks up that 35k oh didn't bring the alks definitely still waking up the plan from here is just to go on to Prince Alley Rescue. From there, we will be able to do the contact quest. I don't need a pot flower. I don't remember that. Oh, it feels good seeing a scurry walking around behind us again. Okay, there's the birdhouse is done. Alright, gonna grab the room pouch and the alks before I forget. And then we'll get some energy and stamina. And we will get all the quest items. Okay, we just need a pot of flour, which we should be able to get from the chest under Lumbridge. Okay, buy food, pot of flour, perfect. Alright, we are going to Draenor. That's a dig site amulet. Talk to our boy Ned. I don't know how the rope goes from brown to white anyway before we die it, but... Claw is almost dead. I think we've got a fresh one in the bank. We'll need it to go right back there in a minute. Yep, got a couple. Okay, back to Draenor. Alright, and now it's back to Alcarid. Very quick quest to start out the day there. There we are. We will be going into contact now. Not sure exactly how we start this one. We have to start in Sophenham, so we are gonna go straight outside our house. Uh, no, we're gonna go to a bank first because if we don't have the stuff, we might be fucked. So let's just get all the items for this quest, whatever they are. I know there's a bit of back and forth in it from Alcarid and Sophenham, but I don't think we need that much on us, so we should be okay. Okay, we need some sort of combat gear. The giant scarab. Preferably magic ranged. Okay, so we go magic. Anything else? Anything else? I'll take another prayer pot. I think we're pretty good. I'm gonna head on over there. Now, Sophenum is a bit of a bitch to get to, which is why we put our house here. Because we're gonna need it for both the last quest we did here, the feud, and now for this one. I knew we'd want uh, like a a hub in the desert to get us around. Uh, not that we'll be back here then till desert treasure in a little while, but I don't know that we need our house anywhere else, so it might well end up staying there. I haven't figured out 100% yet. Okay, been a while since we're here for Drake Florins. Well, this is a lot of dialogue. Shut the fuck up! My gosh. Should've brought some up I didn't realise there were agility traps in here. Damn, I'm getting hit by like everything. I th I'm pretty sure we have to come back here as well, so definitely we'll be bringing a summer pie when we do. Or multiple. Okay, we're going back to Alcarid now. We're actually getting through this relatively quickly though, to be fair. 
not disappointed at all. We're gonna have a bunch of time left in the day still. I wasn't sure how much we would after. Like, I didn't want to even think about how long it was gonna take after fucking the Mareki quest line. I was just like, oh, it'll take however long it takes. <laughs> but it seems to be going very quickly, other than these dialogue options. This quest is really just a lot of dialogue. Uh, I'm gonna go back for another reset of Ferox before I move on. Okay, we're gonna get some summer pies. Back we go. And I should probably get my auto cast set up. I don't have chaos runes. Good job I checked then. I love how we're way beyond Firebolt now, but we're just doing everything with Firebolt because I can't be asked to buy different runes. <laughs> It'd probably be quicker if I got some death runes or something, but who wants to keep track of death runes, man? Those cunts are expensive. I've just decided I'm moving something up in my order to the next quest that we're doing. Because it's long, long, long overdue. And now we have the level for it. Or we'll have in a minute anyway. I don't get why Osman needed to knock some guy out. He can literally turn invisible. See, part of me is thinking maybe I shouldn't take Scurry to the boss fight, but we only lost him because I was sat there letting a spirit kill me. Ooh, that was rude. Good draw a robot in the box. The agility boost from that summer pie should hopefully help us with the next traps. Is that guy doing a slayer task? Oh no. Bro, I feel sorry for you. Fuck doing those. Okay, I should be a little careful with my HP. Alright, we're good. Kinda low on food, but I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Cool, we don't even need to save spot. <laughs> we just stand here and kill it. Just be careful if it poisons us or extinguishes our light source. Like that. Oh shit, he summoned someone. Oh, no thank you. I did not bargain for Molly Combat. Please so many others die when it does. Thank fuck. Okay, back to Sophenham. What's the best way for us to get there? Going up there is going to actually take a while. I think it's going to be quicker to just... As weird as that is, I think it's quicker <laughs> than running back through. The fuck is all that? That was weird. Alright, now we should just be able to go and turn this one in. I'm hoping it gets us to 42 thieving. I think it should. Is my roof... Like, yeah, my hide roofs is on, but it doesn't seem to be working correctly. There we go, and we get combat lamps too. Yay, they're going on strength, because it's the only one that we actually have as a requirement for Legends Quest. There's 46. We will go to the Ferox and why is my roof thing like bugging? It's really weird. Alright. Gonna sell the Ring of Wolf. I'm gonna get some more. Because we always need them. I'm just gonna get 10 plus 1 at premium. We're gonna get some stamps as well, because we always need those too. I'm just spending a lot of money here, I know, but it is what it is. It's necessary. We'll get energies because they're cheap as fuck. And then we get the Limpwort Roots. For the quest, let's just bank the crap that we don't need. In fact, let's get a... Uh, we don't have any Dragonite, do we? Let's just get some Black Dehyde to go with the Magic Shot, both of this. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, we need our energy low as well, though. Oh, our weight low, even. So we probably don't want a lot of this shit. What's weighing us down right now? I guess the staff. Yeah, I guess we bank everything for the first bit because we need to be light. I'll just take some fire runes instead. We don't have many fire runes. I need nature runes too. Okay, cash stack's going to be looking a lot worse now. Where is it? 677k. But oh well, we're fine with that. Magic shot, but no, we don't need that just yet. We're going to RD, which means we also need water runes. Why the fuck is my roofs broken? Okay, I'm gonna pause, log out, and log in. I don't know what's going on with my roof removal right now. It's like bugging out all over the place. Restart the timer. Hopefully it's okay. Oh fuck, I lost my temple back off. Yeah, I figured I'd just move this up in the order so we can get the boots of lightness because we'll just be wearing those forever after that. Okay, so we do need the limp work roots. And we do need a boat right now. Below zero. I think we'd just do the first bit and then leave, right? Or we could do the arrows bit as well. We do have the thieving, don't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, d I don't think we need the limp words until after that, yeah. I'm not gonna take them. The only reason I really wanted to do this right now is so I could get these boots, which we don't really need to do the quest for, but may as well do it, because it's on the list to get done. I believe you need it for Legends quest or something. There we go. In fact, should we get a spare pair, just in case we lose them? No arm in a hopping fawn, is there? All right, lovely stuff. What's the next bit? Go across the bridge. We are less than zero kilograms, so we should be all good on that front. Take the leader. Back we go. Okay, we're gonna go get ourselves all the ice arrows and then pull out for the range gear. We do get avers, so we probably don't need that many. But this shouldn't be too painful with stamina. Usually the bad thing about doing this quest is that you're on a low level account that doesn't have access to things, so like... You have to walk back and forth between these chests all the time, or at least that's how I've ended up suffering here. This time with a bit of stamina, it shouldn't be too bad. Although it is still a lot of running around back and forth. Should I have brought food? One more chest and then we'll get out of here. We're probably over preparing, to be honest. We probably don't need 20, but... Okay, so we are going to combat bracelet to get there. We're gonna go with the black dragon hide. Do we have a ranging potion? No. I'll get one because it will speed us up. I'm gonna stop taking this stuff because I think we just need the space for these limp work roots. Ranging potion. Okay, we take a prayer pot with us too, just in case, and some food, just in case. Alright, let's go to the ranger guild. Alright, time to smell this prick. Yo, I didn't bring Avers, I'm dumb. There's a range level though, and he's dead. Seven arrows is what it took. At 76 ranged. Feels so weird running around without Alkin. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna pick it up. I have to kill this nerd. I've only got ice arrows. All right. Okay, back to Lucian. Uh, we don't have our Ardy teleport. Good job. Don't have a ring of dueling either. Good job. Oh, it's here we want to be anyway. He's here. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm gonna get my alks. Feels way too weird not having them there all the time. There we go. Some ranged XP and some fletching XP for the troll. All right, I guess we're moving on. Alright, this is going to be a, a long one, obviously. I don't know how much invent space we're going to need off the top of my head. We're not going to get too far into Monkey Madness. I wasn't expected to start it all today, but... Okay. Chapter 1. Oh, I just watched Tower Teleport by accident. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? <sighs> I was trying to move my caramba in my invent and fucking... <sighs> I'm an idiot. I don't know if we need this shiny key. I think that was from the last quest. Apparently we got a couple of tasks done on some achievement diaries. I have no idea what they were. Okay, we are kind of done with that bit. I think we have to go... Do we not have to go back there? I thought we did. We kind of did the job. He told us that we were going to decommission it. But we know he's evil. Okay, time to talk to Dara. Oh, you have to go for all of them. I've done all these. Wait, no, we got it. Leave. Okay. Puzzle box time. Alright. On the beach. Wow. Oh, fuck that scorpion, man. Okay. We are on Apatol. One of the most dangerous places in the game. For the unprepared. Thankfully, I'm prepared. If I can pick the lock. Jeez. I don't remember the exact timing on this. So I'm just gonna chill with it. Would like to go and do birdhouse as soon as well, so I'm not gonna pro progress this too far. Yeah, this bit says return, so maybe we can do the first two. Oh no. Go away, bro. I don't think I've ever waited this long for him to move before. Have I fucked up? Oh my gosh, that scared the fuck out of me. Okay, we gotta stay on the dark area here. Alright, we got dentures. Spiders are so annoying for interrupting you. Oh my gosh. Die! Did that just block me? For fuck's sake, man. 
I hit spiders. There we go. We gotta do the zoop knock bit now. But I'm gonna go do a birdhouse run. And we will be doing the rest of Monkey Madness tomorrow. Turning ourselves into a little chimp and having some fun with King. It's bird time. Alright. Three minutes left. I um I think I'm just gonna like clean some herbs. Make some potions if I have any stuff for them. We got like all these. I don't know what we can clean yet though. Not having to not hear it. Maybe that's it. Might have to sell the rest. Mm, that's 35. Agility potions. Which are made from what? Isn't it toad flax? I really want to get toad flax, that seems bad. Let's just go G8. Why not toad? Okay, we're gonna make some agility potions. And that'll probably be our last action of the day. All right, folks. Gained 55,000 experience today, not bad. Just 4,000 in the magic front and 6,000 in the hunter front. Nothing too special there. Uh, 7,000 in... Sorry, 6 each. 6 each. I was looking at the bottom one. 7,000 thieving XP is very nice. Brought us up to 42, which does put us closer to the overall goal. And 14k strength XP, also very nice. Brings us close to our goal of 50. 10k ranged XP got us a level there. The fletching got us a few levels. I think we're on like 19 fletching. Yeah, we got us 10 levels, that fletching XP. But it's not particularly relevant for anything. Uh, and then a tiny bit of herb lore there at the end got us a level. So not too bad. And in terms of quests, we got done Prince Alley Rescue and Contact. So we're pretty much done in the desert up until we have to do Desert Treasure 1 right before the final fight of RFD, because it's a requirement. But yeah, we got Prince Ali, Contact, and Temple of Ikov all done. We made a start on Monkey Madness, which we will be finishing, hopefully, tomorrow. We're going to do the whole quest. I imagine that will take most of the day tomorrow, but who knows? Maybe we even get onto that next council member. Maybe we're starting to sniff King Awogi's dish to figure out what he wants in it. I remember him being a picky bastard. Red bananas and special nuts and all that nonsense. Stuff snakes. So I don't know if we'll get that far tomorrow, but we will at least be doing a Monkey Madness one in its entirety. And yeah, it's solid. We are, we are moving, folks. 60 days. I said originally that it was like, just a sort of a loose par, not really a, a limit, so to speak. And if we went, over that was fine if we went under that was fine we're definitely gonna go under at the minute i'm reckoning like we're on what this was day 25 10 more days maybe i don't know if this is even gonna take as many days as the fire cape did this might be a shorter season than season one and then we'll have to think about the future won't we <laughs> It sure is sneaking up on us here. That is going to be all for this one, though. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave us a like and a comment down below to let me know. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of that future content as it comes. Daily episodes of One Hour Limit Locked as well with more content here and there as I produce it. That'll be all for this one. I think I've already said that. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.